Good afternoon. We wish you a very happy Science Day. My, uh, we all are from 9th Green. Myself is Farheen Khatun. Myself is Amadul Amra Sabahar. Myself is Nadia Anju. Myself is Faisa Anamal. Our model is about ozone depletion. What is ozone depletion? Ozone depletion is the process when the thinning of ozone layer occurs and there will be a hole. It is due to the global warming. But what is global warming? Global warming is the process when the temperature of the earth raises up. Uh, the greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, nitro oxide, methane, water vapors maintain the earth temperature. But an increment of in these gases is termed as global warming. Global warming is mainly due to the release of CFCs due to the refrigerators and air conditioner is the main cause of this today. So we should have to use this less. The UV radiations, when the UV radiations are directly falling on the land, the land is not having totally no cultivation weeping and there is drought. If the UV radiations are falling on the glaciers, the glaciers are melting down are in the form of water and it turns as and result as flood. So you can see that there will be a, the effect of UV radiations in will be increasement of water and decrease of water. So it's our duty when the UV radiations are directly falling on the skin, the, it is causes as a skin cancer. It is not only affecting to the humans, also it is affecting to the uh, other organisms also. So it is our pro duty to protect our motherland earth. Still there is a hope by 2030 to protect our motherland earth. So there is a hope. Please grow the trees more and more. Use the less CFCs. Use the natural resources sustainable as you can you do. So please grow Please protect our motherland earth and don't be the victim or cause to uh, unprotect our motherland. So we hope that you will do this. Thank you. Lastly, once again, we wish you a very happy Science Day. Uh, green, earth, green Earth and Save Earth. Thank you. We wish you all a very happy National Science Day. Our topic, our model is model of wind turbine. So let, what is windmill? Windmill is a structure that converts wind energy into rotational energy. Turbines catch the wind energy with their propeller like blades which act much like an airplane wing. When the wind blows, a pocket of low pressure air forms on one side of the blade. The low pressure air pocket then pulls the blade towards it causing the rotor to turn and then it rotates. So I am here to explain about uh, uses of windmill. Windmill is a structure used to harness the power of the wind, purposes like grinding grain, pumping water and uh, generating electricity. Wind causes its blade to spin, thereby creating kinetic energy. It was firstly invented by Charles Brush in 1887 and it is 80 meters long, 80 meter long about uh, 280 feet. Thank you. These white light we form seven colors, then we form white light means these seven colors are known as Vip Cure. Vip Cure means violet, indigo, green, yellow, orange and red. So if you on white light, that white ray uh, enter into the prism, it enter into the certain angles of the prism. When it come outside, you, we are able to see on the screen uh, different colors like rainbow colors. Uh, so these rainbow colors, these bands of colors are known as spectrum of light. Nature, sir. So he is showing uh, in this experiment. Sir. For this special day, we have made this hydroelectric power plant. Uh, what is hydroelectric power plant? Hydropower is electrical energy produced through the power of water. First, so, a pan, then spin a wheel to spin a generator and produce electricity. This is our model. Uh, uh, today, I am representing a model of uh, non-eco-friendly lifestyle and eco-friendly lifestyle. <laughs> Do you know, nowadays, there are uncountable human activities uh, are causing the destruction of the nature. For example, uh, burning of uh, fossil fuels, uh, deforestation, uh, and uh, using of pollutants and harmful things, etc. Uh, uh, dear friends, uh, if we doing the same things, activities, uh, uh, one day, uh, the day is no longer. The, the earth is a living planet that convert into a dead planet. Our model suggests that uh, our model suggests that uh, how we can uh, how we can prevent uh, our mod, uh, how we can prevent the earth and protect the earth. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव द इको फ्रेंडली लाइफ स्टाइल सी हियर नॉन इको फ्रेंडली लाइफ स्टाइल मीन्स बर्निंग ऑफ फॉजिल फ्यूल्स बर्निंग ऑफ फॉजिल फ्यूल्स मीन्स इट इट्स इट्स प्रोड्यूस हाई हाई इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड इट ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस एटमोस गैस एटमोसफियर एंड दी एंड डिफॉरेस्टेशन एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन रिलीज कार्बन मोनोऑक्साइड एंड दी डिफॉरेस्टेशन फॉर द पीपल्स डूइंग डिफॉरेस्टेशन फॉर ओन पर्सन लाइक कंस्ट्रक्शन द फैक्ट्रीज द फैक्ट्रीज प्रोइजनस थिंग्स रिलीज इन टू द रिवर एंड द एनिमल्स वेयर ड्रिंकिंग एंड दैट एंड दीको फ्रेंडली लाइफ स्टाइल शिफ्ट एज अ नॉन इको फ्रेंडली लाइफ स्टाइल शिफ्ट इन टू द इको फ्रेंडली लाइफ स्टाइल लाइक the dam dam is a hydroelectric power dam dam is used for hydroelectric power this power is supplied to the houses for using the electronic things and the solar also solar gets the sunlight energy and get the electricity to use in the houses and the recycle dustbins recycle dustbins means the dustbins recycle units it is it is placed every in everywhere to the throw the garbage flower public school is wishing you happy national science day on this very occasion we want to pass two messages firstly contribution of sir cv raman and other indian scientist secondly by celebrating the science day we want to create the learning creativity among the students so today in our school we have conducted a mini science exhibition inter class exhibition in this our school students have actively participated on different themes of science on 28th january 1928 sir cv raman has published his paper on scattering of light which is known as raman effect for which he was awarded nobel prize in 1930 sir cv raman has started the unique way in scientific field he is the starter of the scientific research in india so every year in india from 1986 on 28 february science day is celebrated it is to nurture and to enhance encourage the young minds towards the fields of science so you you can see our school students they have created models on various science themes and actually participated and we have celebrated the national science day thank you